folk my loves welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here welcome to my channel my name is Lizelle and today's video has actually been a long time coming because I have not sat down in front of the camera for about a month now and I know that might not seem like a long time but in YouTube world not filming for a month is actually it feels like a lifetime I've just been taking a break from everything in my life and today is like the first day where I've really wanted to sit down and film for you guys so here I am with this look I'm filming a tutorial on this look and yes I look like a different person because I'm very much out of my comfort zone with all of these pebble tones that I have going on right now those of you guys who watch my channel regularly would know that I'm all about my browns my warm neutrals very basic basic bitch looks. <laughs> so before we get onto the tutorial, if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the little notification bell so that you don't miss a video I post. And yeah, with that being said, let's get onto the tutorial. I am going to be starting on the eyes, but before I do that, I want to prep my skin so I'm going to spritz some of the Smashbox photo finish primer so that when it comes to applying foundation my face will be ready to go. I'm going to start off by priming my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This one in particular is in the shade Eden. There are like multiple different shades that you can get in the primer potion and I really like this one because it covers up all of my redness and just gives me a really nice smooth canvas to work with. I'm just going to quickly set this base in place with some translucent setting powder and then we'll be good to go for eyeshadows. For today's look, I'm going all out with the purple, so I'm going to be using the Morphe 35P palette. This is how it looks right here. Let me try and fit it all in the frame. So to start things off, I'm going to be going in with this shade from the palette. I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush to run this back and forth through my crease as my transition shade. The thing with this as well is because we are going to be creating a semi-cut crease, you want to make sure that you do bring the color really into this inner corner so that when you do go ahead and cut the crease, you aren't left with no shadow except for that lid shade on this inner corner, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean when I do cut the crease, but it does really help to have that color on the inner corner of the lid. Next up, I'm going to be taking a slightly darker plum shade, so this shade right here, and I'll be using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. So basically, what I'm going to do is take that color and run it through the same area as I did with that first shade, but I'm going to not bring it up as high as I did with that first shade. So this is going to really help layer the shadows to help create that nice blended cut crease. So essentially what I'm doing is pretty much just following along where my eye socket is. If you do poke the brush in, I know it looks scary, but you can kind of see where your crease should be. So even if you can't exactly see your crease, if you just poke your brush into your lid a little bit, just the slightest bit of pressure guys, you will be able to see where your crease should be and that's where you want to place this color. So now that that second crease shade is all up in my crease, I'm going to go ahead and just slightly blend it into that first shade. I'm using the same brush that I used to apply the first shade. So I'm mainly focusing on the top edge of that color that I placed down a second so that it blends nicely into the first shade. What I'm gonna do now is cut the crease. So I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm taking the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. It's this very little tiny tiny brush as you can see, which is perfect for getting that precise cut crease. So I'm just taking a little bit of that concealer and what I'm gonna do is pretty much paint this onto my lid and yeah, start cutting the crease. This is also going to be a really great base for the lid shade that I'll be applying. Alrighty, as you guys can see, I have cut those creases but I've stopped them halfway because this is going to be just like a semi-cut crease. So I'm just gonna be taking this shimmery purple shade right here and pretty much packing that onto the areas that I applied concealer to. 
And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma E55 Eye Shading Brush. Next up, I'm just gonna be taking this shade from the palette right here, and that is going to go on the outer corners of my eyes. So I'm going to kind of blend it into this lid shade. I'm also just using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush for this part. I actually really like using fluffy brushes for the outer corners of the eyes when I'm really trying to smoke it out because like the name suggests, it gives it that really soft yet defined look. So the eyes are pretty much done, but as I'm looking at it, I kind of want to bring a little more of like a mauve kind of tone on the crease. So I'm going to go back into the palette and just take this shade right here and ever so slightly run that through my crease. So I'm barely, I'm not even disturbing the lid. I'm kind of keeping this above the lid. I'm purely just running this above the crease slightly. I'm feeling a little bit extra today. It has been a while since I've put a full glam beat face of makeup on. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the NYX Glam Liner. And this one in particular is in the shade Glam Platinum. So what I'm gonna do with this is basically line that cut in my crease. Like I said, this isn't necessary, but if you wanna add a little more glam and add some glitter without putting too much glitter onto your lids, this is the easiest way to do so. I am going to be giving myself some winged liner. So I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. This is pretty much the blackest black liner that you can find. I love it, it's so creamy, really easy to apply, especially if you use the Sigma Winged Liner EO6 brush. Super, super easy to do a winged liner with this. I'm just gonna give my top lashes a quick coat of mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And then we're going to be moving on to the face. Oh, actually, before I move on to the face, I'm just gonna quickly pop on some falsies. So I'm using the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. Love these lashes. They are actually probably my favorite lashes to use when I'm having like a really glam day. Now I'm going to apply foundation. I have been in love with this foundation lately. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. If you guys are wondering what shade I use, I use Golden Beige, and I'm just going to apply that with my Dampened Beauty Blender. Next up, I'm just going to go ahead and conceal and highlight. Today, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I actually, like, I do think it's a great concealer, but I just haven't tried it out and worn it enough times. I have to keep testing it out to see if I really do like it. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that concealer in place. So I'm using the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. For the rest of my face, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. Mine is in the shade Petal, so. I'm just gonna quickly dab this on my face ever so lightly. This powder, pretty much like you could wear it on its own because it's very full coverage. So I'm only going in with a light layer. I'm gonna go ahead and contour now. So I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'll be taking this shade right here, which is what I pretty much use every single day to contour with. I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush. A lot of you guys do ask me where this brush is from. I get mine from Priceline. I think I finally found a winner, guys. I think this is my ultimate favorite brush for contouring my nose. So this is from the brand Look Good Feel Better, and it's their eyeshading brush. I don't know what it is about this brush, but I feel like it's something to do with the way that the bristles are packed in. Like, it's just, it's perfect. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but what I like to do after I lay it down the nose contour color is just go in with the brush that I use to apply my um, setting powder underneath my eyes and kind of just run it over those areas. And I feel like it really does help to blur everything and blend everything together nicely. So yeah, that's how I contour my nose. If you guys want like a really in-depth tutorial of how I contour, oh my goodness. Let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm going to move on to bronzer. So I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this stuff because it, it just smells good. Like that's 
the primary reason as to why I like it. Plus, it just glides onto the skin really nicely. For blush today, I don't want anything too crazy because I have so much color going on under my eyes. So I'm just going to be going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. If you want a blush that is really good for everyday use and isn't too crazy in terms of color like on your face, this is pretty much just a neutral colored blush. So I feel like it would go with any type of look. I am going to highlight. So I'm using the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'll be taking the shade Forever Young and just packing it onto my face as I always do. It's funny because whenever I leave comments on videos, a lot of people ask me, oh my gosh, like what highlight are you wearing? Literally guys, it's this. In my profile photo, I know the glow is pretty intense. I think when I applied it onto my face for that photo, I used all of the shades on my face. I totally approve of this. If you want your highlight to blind the sun itself, this is going to do it for you. So as you can see, I have it zoomed you guys in yet again because I'm going to go ahead and take that same highlighter color Forever Young from the Glow Kits and apply it to the inner corner of my eyes. So yeah, just add that pop of highlight on the inner corner and bam, as you can see, it's intense guys, it's intense. For the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same pinky shade I applied above my crease at the very end when I said I wanted to add a little more pink to my crease. I use, I'm using that same shade. So I'm pretty much just going to take that and run it along very softly. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that shade that I put in the outer corner of my eyes and run that along the bottom lash line as well. But I'm going to apply it much closer to the lash line so that it is a little more defined. Next up, I'm just lining my waterline with the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in 213 in the nude. I was going to go with a black pencil for this, but I felt like I wanted to open the eyes up a little more. So that's why I'm lining them with a nude liner. All that's left to do for the eyes now is to coat the bottom lashes in mascara. And that's the eyes done. When it comes to a lip color for this kind of look, you could go either way. You could go with like a nude and keep it really simple, or you could keep everything very monochromatic and go with like a mauvey purple toned kind of lip, which is what I'm gonna do today. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, is line my lips with the Essence Lip Liner in number six, Satin Mauve. And then my lip color of choice for this look is the NYX Lip Lingerie in Embellishment. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. As always, I will leave a full list of all the products I used down below in the description box as well as all of the links to my social media accounts so if you guys want to catch up with me on twitter instagram or snapchat you can find all of those details down below also leave a comment and let me know what kind of colored makeup looks what kind of colored makeup looks <laughs> what kind of colors you'd like to see me work with for upcoming makeup tutorials i'm really wanting to branch out of my comfort zone and film more tutorials that have a lot more color so let me know what you want to see down below. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.